you know what you want. You want a slow-paced, action-based, high-intensity, immersive tactical shooter. So you're looking into these two games that externally appear somewhat similar. You don't know the difference, but you can only afford one. And that's why you clicked on this video. Welcome, my name is Tacti, and I'm all about those hardcore tactical shooters like these two games. If that's what you're into, hit that subscribe button. Let's jump right into the comparison, shall we? If this comparison helps you out at all, feel free to purchase one of these games off my game store link down below. It directly supports me and my family. Now, both these games offer quite a bit and have their unique features, but the primary meta for both games is squad-based teamwork with short, shorter range engagements attempting to get the drop on your enemies in clear areas with good tactics. Both attempt to immerse you in the game by providing various degrees and methods of realism. Keep in mind, as we go through this, Ground Branch development thus far has taken years and years. Zero Hour just released a few months ago prior to the making of this video. So both these games are in early access and are going to progress. Some of this information may not be accurate one month from now. This production time is most evident by the amount of weapons in Ground Branch compared to Zero Hour. Zero Hour has a total of eight primary weapons, two secondary weapons, and a riot shield. Ground Branch has a total of 32 weapons, including both primary and secondary, though some of those are just variants of certain weapons. Regardless though, Ground Branch's weapons and customizations blows Zero Hours out of the water. At the making of this video, I know that Zero Hour does have weapon customization coming, but it's very minimal at this point and won't be on the level of Ground Branch anytime soon. I mean, in Ground Branch, you can make this gun. You can't get much more tactical than that. We'll continue on the topic of guns and talk a little bit about gunplay and sounds. Ground Branch's attention to detail when it comes to gunplay is top notch. Weapon positioning matters. You've got your high ready, high carry, low ready, point shooting, a stamina system that affects aiming, momentum, all these systems translate into a unique shooting experience that strives for realism and an understanding of real life tactics. Ground Branch also has a better sound system by and large compared to Zero Hour. That system is pretty meh if I'm honest, especially when playing PvP. I think in both games, the weapons need to sound a little bit more uh, punchy and really focus on the echoes of the surroundings when a round is fired, whether inside or outside. But that could just be personal preference. Now scopes in Ground Branch are obviously going to be better quality because there are more options. Ground Branch uses a picture-in-picture -picture style of scope which usually hits hard on the graphics card, but doesn't do too bad for my experience, so I do have a 1070 Ti, so take that with a grain of salt. Scopes are also more relevant in Ground Branch for those bigger maps. Zero Hour currently only has a 4x ACOG, that's as high as the magnification goes, which isn't exactly necessary when it comes to the size of maps that the game has. Both games offer an extremely low time to kill. A few bullets and you're done for. Or the other guy is. Hopefully, you've got good aim. Weapon recoil in each game is similar, a fairly steady shot with randomized horizontal recoil patterns. To steady, Ground Branch offers a hold breath mechanic and Zero Hour does not. Not yet anyway. I will say though, I think weapon positioning on the screen and weapon animations are a little bit better for now on Zero Hour. Which brings us into animations in general. Ground Branch has always had somewhat of an, uh, unrefined system. The update to change that is coming soon with a complete animation overall, but at the making of this video, it's somewhat, uh, meh. The animations are not that great. It does, however, have an inertia system for person and weapon movement, which is great, but the reload animations and general movement animations just leave a lot to be desired. There also isn't any prone at this time, though that's part of the overhaul as well. Zero Hours, I'll say, isn't a whole lot better, though I do believe the weapon animation and smoothness of movement are slightly better than Ground Branch. This game also has a movement and animation update coming soon, and I know I keep saying that a lot, but again, they're both in early access, so changes are going to come. Zero Hour does have a pro mechanic. Graphically, I think Zero Hour has a slight edge on Ground Branch when it comes to environmental assets, but the diversity of maps and number of maps goes to Ground Branch. Weapon models, however, are much more crisp and higher quality in Ground Branch than Zero Hour. Also, Ground Branch has got photo mode, which all games, all tactical shooters should have, in my opinion. So if you go to take a picture of your operator, everything looks so, so, so good. But outside of that, in combat with the player models, hmm, they're both kind of meh. Night vision and flashlights are a mechanic in both games, though the bots in Ground Branch have super night vision and don't need goggles to see in the dark. They're still working on that. 
Ground Branch's portrayal of Night Vision is much more accurate, though there's only one style of nods at the moment and it completely removes half the screen. Zero Hour has a much more aesthetically pleasing night vision system, and it reminds me a lot of Call of Duty, but it's not super close to a realistic portrayal. Now let's talk a bit about playability, because if you can't play the game how you want to play it, you might as well not get it. Both games have considerably low player bases. Zero Hour has two game modes currently, co-op and PvP. You can play co-op solo if you wish. In co-op, you have to score high enough to unlock the next map, and at the making of this video, there are approximately seven co-op slash solo maps. If you want to PvP, this may be a bit harder. You've got to queue into a map, and it depends on the number of players playing. That might take a bit. There are a total of six PvP maps currently, with more to be added in the future. Zero Hour is a lot like Rainbow Six Siege in regards to PvP, just less operators because hero shooters are for weenies. Also of note, in Zero Hour, since you're a SWAT operator in the co-op environments, you don't just run in guns blazing every time. There are hostages and baddies that will surrender to you, which affect your score. You're not supposed to shoot them. The same can't be said for Ground Branch. Kill everybody. Ground Branch currently has slightly more players, though they've got an interesting system. They don't have a queue system for any PvP or co-op. Any PvP games that you get into are either lucky because you join the server at a good time, or you're a part of a semi-organized community. A lot of the PvP stuff is organized in their Discord. Even a lot of the co-op stuff, really. This is where Ground Branch is lacking the most, if I'm honest. Luckily, the game has a killer community, no pun intended, and there are events and random squad-ups all the time. It's kind of a bummer when it comes to the experience. A playlist would definitely help maintain a player base instead of a surfer browser, but you know, I get it, the game has much more important things to work on and you can only do so much every update with a small team. This brings me to the last and most important part of the video, the price. Obviously there are a ton of things that I missed, there are a ton of things I could have gone over, there's only so much time in a video. Not to mention people's attention spans are next to nothing. So if you made it this far, you're definitely an anomaly and thanks for sticking around. But the price of Graham Ranch recently increased to $30. It's in early access, so keep that in mind. The same with Zero Hour. However, Zero Hour's price is considerably less. 12 bucks, actually. That's freaking insane. If you're hard pressed for cash, go for this one. Grab Ground Branch if you want a purely tactical and kill everybody experience with a lot of guns and a lot of buttons. Again, you can pick them both up from my game store down below. Feel free to do that. Both games are unique in their own right and both honestly are a ton of fun to play. I like both of them. If I had to pick one to pick up personally, it would be Ground Branch, but that's just my opinion. I hope this video helped make your decision and if it did, hit that like button. That's all for this video and until next time, stay tactical.